Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix, Cri Selenix Crypto. Wow. Uh, and good morning and welcome to your daily uh, daily update on Solana. I um, want us to do a full update here. I mean, right now, Ethereum beta is rallying a lot, as you can see right here. Um, but still wanted to give you my thoughts on, on Solana. Maybe I should have covered some, some more Ethereum related stuff, but all right. Um, so yeah, no, wanted to cover Solana right here. I am bullish on Solana, even though, I mean, we, we had a bit of a pullback overnight. Um, I think that's normal, and that's also what we uh, well what, what we talked about earlier, right? I mean, yesterday the price was right here. Uh, purely technically, we were and still are at a significant resistance level. Um, so, so what we talked about yesterday to kind of refresh that is that all right? Well, Solana here is bullish. If we look at the markets, the markets are bullish, so that's of course great. Uh, but then, of course, uh, but, but then if we look at Solana against Bitcoin right here. That is also still bullish and also still respecting the levels we broke above. So there is still a lot of recent bullish momentum as well. Even if we pull back a little bit deeper here. So, so if Bitcoin rallies up more than Solana, basically, um, we're still bullish. All right. So, so, so that's a reason to be bullish on this. Apart from the obvious technical, uh, technical bullishness from Solana. Um, and then fundamentally, the total value locked is also still doing great. So that's why I'm bullish on Solana. Um, but then the question still was for us, and it still kind of is, even though, I mean, it's it's just very dependent on Bitcoin still. Even though uh, Solana is stronger than Bitcoin here, I still do think that matters. Because the main question is, is that, all right, well, Solana broke above two major levels in the last week. And that's this level right here at 164 and 160, the top of the range. That would be the ideal level to pull back into. Or uh, this level, a little bit of a minor level right here between 175 and, and 172. And so far we have respected that level, that first one, that's the 0 0.236 FIP. Um, and in general, like, like the fact that we are respecting this this much is already bullish because purely technically this is not a super strong level. All right, so, so purely technically we should not expect a lot of momentum from there. And the fact that we are... Um, is bullish. But for me, the, the story is not over yet, all right? I, I still think that we can pull back deeper. Um, obviously, it's, it's a very loaded week uh, with a lot of news that's going to affect Bitcoin and therefore that's going to affect Solana. And if you look at Solana right here, like, like what you can see is that we had some, uh, we had some major positions closed earlier this morning. Um, and right now, there's a bit of bullish conversion, right? So the open interest, so the, the momentum is practically the same. But you can see that it's 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 the same because shorts are being closed while longs are being opened. That's why the CVD is going up here. And in general, that's bullish. All right. So for now, given the fact that Bitcoin is also rallying a bit here, for now, I would say it's most likely that this level is going to hold at 172 and 175. Um, and that from there, we'll reach our price target at 200. Um, but I'm not 100% convinced about this yet, all right? I just, based on the reaction, based on the momentum we see from Bitcoin, based on the momentum what we see from Solana, and based on the fundamentals we talked about earlier, a lot based on a lot. Um, that's why, for now, I think this is most likely, but I, I, I'm not taking this trade, right? I, I bought Solana much, much earlier, so I still hold uh, a relatively big bag of it. I also sold some right here. Um, so I'm, I'm not, the only level where I'm buying from is down here at 165 and 160. I think that if we drop down there, then obviously Bitcoin has seen a bit of a bigger pullback, which is not the end of the world. Um, and if we get some sort of a solid reaction from there, I think the, the potential of a move from there is just much higher. Um, so, so that's personally what I'm doing. Technically, this looks most likely that this support level will hold and that from here will rally. Um, but I think it's, it's too risky at this point point of time still to just buy from here um but those are my thoughts all right you can have a different opinion for now that's that's what i expect if you do have uh, any questions whatever let me know down in the comments uh, but for now thank you for watching take care and bye